Welcome to another video from Rickster570. We'll be showing you how to install a dedicated server for 7 days to die. So let's begin. First of all you will need to bring up Steam and go to library and tools and locate 7 days to die dedicated server and we will install. Now you can choose where you want to install, so it will be default in your C drive in the Steam folder. So we'll just next, next. And finish. So it will start downloading. As you see, this is starting to download. Now while we'll wait for that to uh, complete, uh, there's one other bit of software that you will need to acquire as well. So we will be opening Internet Explorer, searching in Google, put it, so I put a download page which was the top search uh, result Google generated. Um, and we need Windows on Intel x86 so we will download the .exe file and save that open this now we will actually minimize this for now close this Internet Explorer so on 60% So guys, as you see, this is now ready to play. Um, don't do anything. What you want to do is you need to open this up in a Windows Explorer. So we will open a, a second Windows Explorer. And go to our C drive. Programs, Files, X86. Steam. Steam Apps. And Common. As you see there, there guys, that is what you will need and it is here, 7 days to die dedicated server so we're going to open this now as I mentioned earlier with our button we're literally just going to click and drag that and move it into the close our downloads file and we don't need that anymore so now we've got everything where we want it to be um, this would be the start dedicated file batch file that you would run so first of all we want to edit this because it thinks put it is somewhere else and we put it in the main file so we need to tell it where it is so to do that we're just going to get rid of these tools forward slash bin forward slash um, so in speech and it should say put it dot exe uh, we'll do the same for the top line as well and once that's been done we will then exit and save don't forget to save guys so, once that's saved, um, that is everything. So, we can run our start dedicated. So, press any key and it will launch Putty. So, there is one more thing we do need to do. Make sure that's not running in the background. Ah, oh, see, it started a server. So that's, that's as easy as it is, however uh, we may want to do a few alterations. So we want to go into server config, so again just, just open this with, with notepad. Um, I'm going to edit which will open it with notepad. So as you see, um, default port is 26900. Now for you guys who know how to port, that's brilliant, and if you're using that port, just change it to something that you're not using. For the guys that don't know how to uh, port forward, I will uh, find a website and post that at the bottom of this video so you guys know where to find it. Now the next things are the server name. Uh, so we could change the server name to Rickster's 570's server. I'll just turn this capsule off. Now 
The next bit will be the world game world. So at the moment I actually want to play a nav skin. However, these are the different types of games that you can play, including random gen. So you just change that in there. Now the actual name of the server, whatever you want it to come up as. And um, so you would put this as test. We're just going to call it test for now. And these are the passwords you would change to get into your server. So it says change me. So you'll change this to something a little bit more secure. Now for now, I'm just going to leave them as it is. Uh, so that's pretty much. There's different things on here you can have a look at, guys. Uh, it tells you different ways to um, edit the actual server that you're going to run. Uh, but for now, we're just going to leave it nice and simple and leave it the same. So now when we uh, run our start dedicated, which we can easily create a shortcut, um, you copy the shortcut onto there rather than moving it, um, onto your desktop just makes it a bit easier to find. Press a button. Want to do all these little creating worlds. Now create the world, so we'll go to change me, which is in capital letters, so change me and there you go guys as you see game name test difficulty 2 running on 26900 so guys that is as easy as it is to set up a server for seven days to die enjoy happy gaming <laughs>